Let's look at the HANA deployment options and architecture. There are two HANA deployment options. One is on-premise. Just like the word it says on-premise, the actual hardware will be on-site at the client side. The second option and more popular option is a cloud method. So everything is stored in the cloud. So in cloud, you have two options, HANA Enterprise Cloud or shortly called as HEC or HANA Cloud Platform called HCP. We we'll look at these two in more details in the next few slides. Let's look at the on-premise option. On-premise means the actual hardware will be on-site. That is the appliance will be delivered on-site. The SAP hardware partner, this can be like Lenovo, Fujitsu, HP or Dell. They can set up a fully pre-configured system with pre-installed software packages supported by SAP. There will be more capital costs incurred initially because of the acquisition of the hardware. Whereas the cloud-based model is more cheaper in the longer run and it's more of operational cost because you'll be having monthly expenses as a subscription. Now some organizations would want it on-site purely for security reasons. For example, some Department of Defense of some certain governments or any sensitive data which the government do not trust to have it any other site then they would prefer the on-premise model. Some corporations also might would like to have it on-premise because they might have a set of team who would they like to manage the hardware on-site. Let's look at the difference between the two cloud models, HEC which is HANA Enterprise Cloud and HCP HANA Cloud Platform. The easiest way to remember the difference is HEC is fully managed by SAP whereas HCP is managed by the client. Let's look at it in more detail. HEC offers infrastructure as a service, whereas just like the word HCP, HANA Cloud Platform, this offers only the platform as a service. HEC allows the customers to run their complete HANA set of solutions, whereas in HCP, the client has to build their own cloud-based application. It also gives you the option of having a combination of both as well. Now, fully managed services for the software is done at HEC, whereas HCP is designed to help SAP partners deploy the solutions or extensions via a cloud model. In HEC, you can have the full SAP HANA footprint in an off-site location and fully managed by SAP, whereas in HCP, the platform in the cloud but the data is elsewhere, which means you can have use a HANA platform, but you can also store the data. If you wish, you can also have it in the cloud as well, or you can have it in separate servers elsewhere outside of the cloud. So HIC is all fully managed and integrated within SAP, whereas HCP, you give the platform is given to you. This is what you call HANA cloud platform. But you can decide what solutions you want to do or what extensions you want to do and where you want to store the data. Those three flexibility is with the client. Let's look at the HANA architecture. The HANA database was developed using C++, which is a programming language which can be run on many different platforms. And the operating system is SUSE Linux Enterprise Server. SUSE is an operating system and use the Linux Enterprise Server to run. The actual database runs on multiple servers. The most important server you need to know is called the Index Server. There are four more other servers, Name Server, Statistic Server, Preprocessor Server and the Access Engine. Let's look at all this in a picture to see how they all fit in. So this is a diagram of the SAP HANA architecture. The main important database server is, runs on in the index server. This consists of many different sub-servers and data engines. You can see here session and transaction manager, the processors, the persistence layer, the data engines, and so on. And you can see this can all be accessed using the web server, which is a HANA client library. The access engine, which is called extended applications, resides between the web server and the index server. The other three servers, which you saw in early in our slide, 
is called the preprocessor server, the statistics server, and the name server. All these sites at the bottom layer. Now, from this line slide onwards, it's becoming very technical, which is not in the scope for a simple finance consultant. For those who want to read more about the architecture, or if you want to know more from the technical side, the next few slides will be explained in detail regarding each of these servers. Because our theme is simple finance simplified, I would not want to take you through too much of technical information, which is not in the scope for the simple finance consultant. So we'll be quickly glancing through each of those server information. This is the index server. This part, more information is given over here. This is the persistent layer that's in between the servers and the index server. And this is a preprocessor server. Another database runs on this server. The statistics server and the name server. Just a quick recap what we covered in this presentation. We saw the HANA deployment options, the on-premise model, the cloud model, and the difference between the two cloud models, HIC versus HCP. And you also had a brief look at the HANA architecture.